talking with you about the tropics, but boy, it is hot out there. Yeah, the, not only things have been heating up out in the tropics, but even here at home, where we made it to a daytime high of 92 degrees, but I know it has been feeling a lot hotter than that, and it's all thanks to that humidity that we're going to have stick around through much of this week. But hey, there's some drier air that's heading our way, and we'll talk a little bit about that in just a few moments. I want to start off with the tropics. We do have those three systems that we've been keeping a very close eye on, but as of the 5 o'clock update from the National Hurricane Center, this will be one of the last times you hear us talk about tropical depression. Fred now becoming more of a remnant low. Can Continuing to bring though heavy rain through portions of the eastern United States. You got Tropical Storm Grace and Tropical Storm Henri. We're going to talk about those two in just a few moments. There are those heavy rain bands moving through portions of eastern Tennessee and the western Carolinas moving up further and further towards the northeast. Some of that heavy rain will even impact portions of Pennsylvania and New York in the coming days. Now and then they're in the Caribbean right over Jamaica heading towards the Cayman Islands. Just south of there is Tropical Storm Grace packing winds of 50 miles per hour continuing to race there to the west about 15 miles per hour as of the five o'clock update from the hurricane center now seeing hurricane watches and warnings lighting up for portions of the caribbean there cayman islands you're under hurricane watch and parts of the yucatan peninsula hurricane warning the reason it is forecast to reach hurricane category one strength of winds 80 miles per hour in the coming days by thursday especially as early as wednesday going through thursday before then reaching into the uh, bay of campeche and then continuing to even meander further into the eastern portions of Mexico. So Yucatan will weaken it a little bit, but then it's forecast to just re-strengthen back into that Category 1 status by the end of the week. Thankfully, staying well out of our hair. Then Tropical Storm Henri, this moving right around just southeast of Bermuda and then looping back around to the north and to the northeast, staying just out of the United States. So no concern here locally in the tropics moving forward. For now, we still have until the end of November to keep an eye on the tropics. If anything, we are transitioning back into our summertime pattern with the showers and storms in the afternoon. I will tell you not as much coverage though, not as impressive as what we've seen even much of last week. We did have some of those boundaries collide through portions of Hardy to Soto counties west of Highway 17 there, continuing to pulse back into eastern Sarasota and Manatee counties. But I do think as we get close to sunset, we'll lose a lot of that energy. So most of us are going to stay on the muggy side, but we will miss out on the bulk of that rain tonight. And that really help temperatures climb into the lower 90s this afternoon. You can kind of see those mostly to partly cloudy skies. It's going to be a pretty decent sunset, just a little on the warm side with temperatures even right now feeling more like 98 degrees. So we have a lot of those upper 80s, lower 90s across the map. You can even see where we're picking up some of that rain cooled air right now. But yeah, check out Carrollwood, Newport Ritchie, Brooksville, it still feels more like the triple digits, and that will be the trend even in the days ahead, feeling a little bit warmer than that actual air temperature. Tonight, we'll keep temperatures right around those lower 80s, nearing the upper 70s, but you'll see with wind shifting back out of the southeast, any activity on radar will try to push off near the coast. Not very impressive, not very scattered, not very widespread, I should say, but will become more scattered going into Wednesday, Thursday with any activity building inland, pushing back out to the coast, pushing back off to the west, and that will lead to some slightly drier air. You can see those gradually decreasing rain chances, thankfully just in time for the weekend. However, those 90s, again, you're going to want to stay hydrated because they will feel much hotter on your skin for your outdoor activities.